Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go take a look in the fridge and see what we're going to drink today. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Review today. Today's beer is Bell's Christmas Ale. Uh, this beer comes from the Bell's Brewery out of Kalamazoo, Michigan. It is a Scottish ale coming in at 5.40 ABV. It is a winter serving, so must be why it's got a Christmas tree on the label. What do you think about that? Uh, the food pairings for this has got nothing listed on the Beer Advocate, so uh, these are usually Spicy, cinnamon, nutmeggy uh, type beers, so uh, match the cuisine accordingly. Uh, they're fairly light drinking, so they probably go well to just about anything. So just remember that. The glassware, you can use the pint, the tumbler, the mug, uh, stein. I got the pint glass here today. That's what we're going to use on this one. And it's not recommended for extended salary, so if you see it, drink it if you buy it. Get the cap off of it, see what we got. Bell's beers are usually pretty good, so we'll see what we get here. Bell Christmas Ale. Alright, this is fresh out of the fridge. It's got a little bit of a chill haze on it. It's about 40 degrees. A lot of bubbles streaming up from the bottom, so it looks fairly carbonated. About a half a finger of head, nice bubbles on there, uh, about half and half small, half large. So uh, let's get in the glass. It's a, it's an amber, copperish color, not quite a deep copper, but a, a light copper color. So let's get a nose on it. Doesn't have a strong nose. Just a faint, just a faint hint of cinnamon or, 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 or some nutmeg or something. Mostly a mostly malt smell. That's all I'm getting here. So it shouldn't be a really strong beer. Let's give it a taste. Very thin and watery though. Not got a real strong taste. I mean, it's very sessionable. You could drink quite a few of these. No alcohol presence whatsoever in this beer. Nothing really stands out, rather, rather bland. Rather bland. I was expecting a little bit more than that from that beer, so I'm a little disappointed there. A malt driven ale made with 100% Michigan grown two row barley malt, and a mix of Michigan and Northwest Pacific hops. So, uh, Not uh, not doing a whole lot, but we'll let it warm up and uh, we'll sip on it just a little bit here. So I'll be right back and we'll do the final chug and grade. Stick around. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around. I've been sipping on this thing about 20 minutes or so. It's uh, this is an average beer. I hate to say it from Bell's, but uh, they usually do pretty good stuff. Uh, this is not uh, this is not anything above average. This is an average beer. Uh, final chug. Pretty bland, a little watery, which a lot of the spiced beers are. Just a hint of nutmeg, uh, just a little bit of cinnamon, not not much, not even where you could, not even enough hardly worth mentioning. It's just barely got a trace of it uh, that I can bring up. So, on the uh, on the scale tonight, I'm gonna give this a four, which is a C. Uh, it's a C. It's an average beer. Nothing, nothing that's uh, nothing to write home about, as they say. So. Rate Beer gives us a 67 overall and a 35 in the style, which was a Scottish ale, so I mean it's, nah, 
not a Scottish ale as far as I'm concerned, not any, like any one I've ever had before anyway. Uh, Beer Abbott comes up with a B on the grade on this, so I think that's being very, very generous uh, with the reviews. So some people are, are, are probably a little more, leaning more toward uh, the Bell's name than, than the actual taste, because uh, this is a this is a fresh beer, so um, <laughs> it's a it is what it is, as they say. So that's the grade we're going to give it tonight, and guys, if you've had it, let me know what you think of it, and if you agree, disagree, let me know, give me some comments, and. As always, guys, rate, comment, subscribe, and hopefully the next one will be a little better than this one.